wake up. Hello. Here we go. You're finally awake. I was starting to think you'd never wake up. Uh-uh-uh. I would run off if I were you. I mean, come on. I know I look a little scary. But if I was going to hurt you, don't you think I would have done it already? Yeah, that's right. So, get back over here. You definitely won't be any safer running out into the jungle. Also, could you quit staring at me so much? I mean, I know us tiger girls are sort of rare, but you're creeping me out a little. Yeah, no, I get it. It's a lot to take in. But first, I need to take a look at your wounds, don't you think? I don't know what a human like you was doing in the jungle, but you shouldn't have come here. As you can see, it's a dangerous place. You were getting attacked by some animals when I found you. If it wasn't for me, you might not have made it out alive. But enough of that. Let me take a closer look at you. Mm, yeah, no, this won't do. I'll have to fix you up. <sighs> now, where did I put those bandages? Ah, oh, here we are. Now, let's see. Hmm, you have a few cuts on your face and arm. Let me help you with those. Hey, what the heck? Why are you flinching like that? I said I'm trying to help you, silly. Huh? You're scared of the antiseptic. <laughs> Come on. It'll barely even sting. Besides, if you had the guts to enter the jungle, you can definitely manage this. Alright. Now, lean back so I can apply it. There we go. It's going to be fine. If you're really scared, just take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. In. And out. There. Wasn't so bad, right? Well, that takes care of your cuts, but you should probably eat something, too. Hmm, let's see. What do humans like to eat anyways? Wait, what? <laughs> of course I know how to cook. I'm a tiger girl, not a tiger, okay? I'm at least part human. See, assumptions like that are exactly why us tiger girls choose to live in the jungle. You humans are always so rude. I mean, I even saved you and everything. Mm-hmm, that's right. You better be sorry. Like I said, you wouldn't have made it otherwise. But anyways, I need to get cooking. I think I know just what to make you. All I need to do is, uh, make a little fire. Here, eat this. Huh? What? Haven't you ever seen a roasted yam before? It's tasty, I promise. See? It's good, isn't it? I'm a pretty good cook after all, aren't I? Well, since we're both here, I have to ask. Why exactly did you come to the jungle? I mean, it's really rare to see humans here, especially alone. You were trying to get pictures of a Spix's macaw? You work for a nature magazine. <sighs> well, I don't know what the last part means, but if you came here alone to get a picture of a Spix's macaw, then you're not very smart. That bird is very rare, you know. And most people never get to see it. 
I mean, I live here, so I know where to find it, but someone like you probably never would. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Don't tell me you want me to take you to it. I can't believe it. I saved you. Only for you to ask me to do more? What? Are you pouting now? Fine, I'll do it. But not today. No. It's too dangerous. Even with me protecting you, it's not a good idea. Listen, the Spix's macaw is a bit far from here. But if we go out early in the morning, I'm sure we'll be able to see it. So, what I'm saying is, if you really want that photo, you should spend the night here and come with me tomorrow. Huh? Of course I don't mean anything weird. I'm just trying to make sure you get your picture, okay? Plus, you're safest here with me right now. So, what do you say? I mean, you don't really have a choice. I'm not letting you leave right now anyways, but... Do you want to go with me tomorrow? You do? Okay then, it's a plan. You know what that means? It's time for bed. Yep, that's right. We have to be up bright and early tomorrow. So, lay down, human, and let me tuck you in.